welcome back to my channel. I am clearly not at home. It's a little after seven. I just got back from Starbucks. My stuff is all set up downstairs. I don't know why this looks so blue. There we go, that helped. Happy Friday. Happy NaNoWriMo Day 19. I'm back at my parents' house. Wasn't planned, but we're here now. So there's no vlog from yesterday because I was driving up here and I also didn't write anything yesterday. I'm trying to wrap up my proofread for Wicked Souls so I can send it to my audiobook narrator also. So that's gonna be my focus for today. So if we don't get any more writing done today, I won't be surprised because I'm gonna be focusing on that. See that little lump? That's Maxine. Hello! Maybe in the laundry room I put that. You waiting for dad? What happened? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What happened, Lou? I went through the Starbucks drive-thru this morning. So we had a bagel, got this gigantic coffee. We're ready to go. I unfortunately have been up since five because for some reason Dean was howling this morning. Yeah, so we're back here. I'm gonna be here for a while actually. A change of plans, it's fine. We're making it work. I know we got a lot of questions on yesterday's vlog so I'll answer some of those later. I'm gonna be doing this all day. <music> Like this is gonna be a long pricey audiobook okay i've decided i'm gonna go live at 9 currently 8 20 to try and help keep me accountable and get this work done there are people replacing the roof right now too so i'm a little bit worried it's gonna be loud with all of the hammering and stuff but we're gonna go live in about 40 minutes i'm hoping that'll kind of help me knock out a good chunk of this i was worried my parents internet wouldn't be good enough so we got the plug in everything i'm gonna go get my laptop charger and sit here and try and focus this morning Bentley is insisting on sitting here with me for the live. And then we have a gizmo right there. And a Louie over there. Hi, Lou. And just my luck, the roofers have moved right there. We got 12 minutes. I hope it's not too loud. This might be a really bad idea, but we're gonna try. He won't let me put him down. He doesn't like loud noises, so the that is bothering him. So if I set him down, he just scratches me until I pick him back up. He will not let me put him down. I gotta finish my book today. I know you don't care about that. You don't care. You just wanna be the star of the show. You and Dean have such similar personalities. You don't even know, which makes sense because they're both mine. This is my dog. So apparently it's my fault for raising them this way. Bentley, did you know you and I are both old now? I got Bentley as a birthday present, my 14th birthday, and now I turn 25 in like two weeks. That means you're old too, little man. It's now about 10.45. So we kept the live a little bit shorter than usual. The internet kept going out and it's super loud, but we were on there for like an hour and 40 minutes or something. So I did get some good stuff done. I got through quite a few chapters. We're gonna keep working on it, but we're gonna take a break. So I thought we would come answer some questions, I guess. There's no getting around the noises. It's just everywhere. Oh, that's like right outside my window though. It's gonna be real bad. Well, hello. I know you feel betrayed. I was with the dogs. You wanna say hi to the vlog? Not really. What have you been eating this NaNoWriMo? Snack and meals, any habits or cravings? I've loved all things Starbucks and french fries when I'm working. Um, I, as usual, have been drinking my energy drinks. I also am quite a fan of french fries. Grapes and pistachios has been like one of my favorite snacks lately. I don't know why. And popcorn. I've been eating a lot of popcorn. Do you have any tips for past and present switches in books? I'm writing a love story of a couple meeting and falling in love in college and then 10 years after they get married and fall out of love. Yeah, so that was kind of how my book The Anti-Relationship Year was set up. It was two different timelines. It was her freshman year of college and her senior year of college. And at first I was trying to write alternating point of view. They, it is alternating point of view chapters, but I was trying to write it that way. And then I ended up having to write one entire timeline and then go back and write the second timeline. That's just what ended up working better for me. I also planned that book out a lot more in advance than I have with other ones because I liked kind of having the chapters next to each other reflect each other. So something in the past would then kind of relate to what was happening in the present chapter that was after it. So outlining and then maybe writing one timeline and then the other is what ended up working for me. I feel like that also kind of helps you stay consistent with like where your character is at in their arc in that timeline. If you write the whole first one first and the second one second, instead of trying to like figure out where your character is at in their arc 
and they're two separate arcs every other chapter, it can get kind of confusing. How long have you been vegan slash vegetarian? What was your journey to being fully vegan? If you are, I'm vegetarian and struggling to go on full vegan. So I have a couple of videos on this on my main channel, but they're super old. So I don't even know if I want to link them down below because they're probably really bad. But I went vegan in 2016. So it's been, what's that, five years now? Almost six years. It was the summer after my freshman year of college. And I wasn't vegetarian ahead of time. I just went vegan overnight, flipped the switch. But I always say I'm like vegan 95% of the time. I'm vegetarian 100% of the time. I haven't had meat in like six years and I probably never will again if I have any say in it. But I'm also definitely not a part of the vegan side of the community that like gatekeeps it. And it's like, if you're not perfect, you can't call yourself vegan. Like I'm not perfect, but that's what I think makes it easier for me to stick with it is every once in a while. If someone has a birthday party and there's cake that I know isn't vegan, sometimes I'll still eat it. There's a couple of candies that have gelatin in it that I still eat. But when I'm like at home and I'm in complete control of making my meals, I'm always vegan because I buy all of the things. But sometimes when I'm like out or it's like a social gathering, if there's nothing for me to eat, I'll have something that's vegetarian but not vegan. So that's what's been easy for me. I'm vegan the majority of the time and I do my best, but I'm also not perfect with it. Okay, it's I, I don't know how well you're hearing that, but it's pretty loud. So we'll try again later. I think we're gonna get some lunch and then probably just set up in here with Dean and try and knock out a couple more chapters of Wicked Souls. I've been doing this weird thing where I like started at the end and I proofread those and then I started at the beginning. So I'm like working my way towards the middle. So I think I'm about this far into the beginning with a proofread. And I've done this much at the end. So we have this middle section left. Dino. You know? We have this much to go. Hello. Dean and I are still here. The proofreading is going well. I think I'm gonna take a break. I'm getting tired and I don't want to get sloppy. I have about 140 pages left, which is definitely doable to finish in the next couple of days. I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can edit it and everything. Um, I don't think I'm gonna write anything for Nano today. If I do, it'll be later tonight and I'll update you on it tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you want to pre-order Wicked Souls, I have all the links down below in the description. If you want to pre-order the Wicked Souls audiobook, I would love you forever. We are less than halfway filled with the spots that I have for the pre-orders. Um, which is fine because it's such a long audiobook. It's gonna be expensive like I was saying earlier So at this rate it just likely means that the audiobook for book three won't be made at least not anywhere near The release because I'm not gonna be able to put all of this money into book two's audiobook And then same thing for book three because book three is gonna be even longer So if you want to help try and ensure that book three gets an audiobook, maybe consider pre-ordering for book two But yeah, I hope your nano is going well. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>